All right, Shalawan Makia, you know, this is really um update, you know, just on this um, Mark of the Beast, all right, which is the RFID chip, you know, and, you know, this really just an update, you know, about this damn chip, man, you know, I just ran into it, you know, ran into a little article about, um, about the Mark of the Beast, you know, how did, you know, these devils, you know, they like to push it around, like it's just, like it's just something small, you know, like it just ain't nothing, man. But you know, before I start, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Give double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught me the truth, who rule well. All right, you know, and it's um really on um, CNN, you know. And I'm going across it, you know, so thought it'd be good for um, edification, all right? You know, but I'm going to read what it says. You know, it says, work IDs get under your skin, all right? You know, they already being a devil just by saying something like that, you know. It says, some companies are taking an extreme route by bypassing work IDs. Wisconsin-based Kios company Three Square Market made news last year when it announced its employees could volunteer to have an RFID microchip implanted under the skin of their hand. The chip, which is slightly bigger than a grain of rice, allows workers to open doors, log into computers, and work log into computers and make purchases at work without needing an ID badge, password, or credit card. You know, you see how these devils like to play it, man. All right. They like to, um, wh why the hell would you need, um, something implanted, all right, to, um, purchase things at work, all right, food, you know, to log into a damn computer, all right? It says the concept of the microchip employees has raised Concerning, but the company says the chip don't track employees, all right, which is most likely a damn lie, all right, because, you know, man, you can't believe what this damn devil says, all right, the scripture says never trust thy enemy, all right, it's doing all this, all right, why wouldn't they have it to be able to track, you know, you know, you can't believe that shit, man, so most likely it is tracking. You know, but it says and planting chips into employees is a radical move that rises serious privacy issues and it isn't likely to take off at Wiley in the near future, said Forrester Gounder. Why implant a chip? And, and, and this is what this guy says. It said, why implant a chip into an employee who might not work for you forever? When you can give them a smartphone with a biometric reader, like like iris recognition of fingerprint scanner and wearable devices instead. All right, he says, why um why would you need um something like this? All right, for an employee, you know, that's which probably ain't gonna be working there for that long, you know. We're showing you how much the devil they is, man. You know, cause they try to push it. All right, like it just for something like for at work. All right, for some employees. All right, which which they're gonna start pushing it out even more. All right, at the job, you know. So I'm gonna bring that out in a minute, you know. But I'm gonna jump to this right quick. Jump in the scriptures, man. All right, these damn devils. All right, this is Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. It says, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, man. All right. We're not ignorant of um, his devices, man. We know what he's um, planning on doing. All right. We know what he's what this really is, man. All right. We know this the um, mark of the beast. All right. We know this, that this the, um, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, man. All right. All right. So we're not ignorant, you know. What's how he try to play it, you know? He try to make it seem like it's just something little. All right, like it's just for the, um, 
like this just for um, for at work, all right, and things like that, all right. But we know what's going on, man. We know you being a damn devil, all right. We know, um, all right. You probably don't hear about it as much right about now, but in the future, hey, they, hey, it's gonna push even harder, man. All right, <clears throat> for you brothers out there, you know, it might not seem like something. It might not seem like nothing, but hey, in the future, man, the, hey, it's really going to um, get pushed out there, all right? You know, when that dollar crash, all right, when that dollar collapse, you know, they really going to be pushing it, man, all right? So just be aware of that, man, all right? But yeah, back to this double, you know, he, 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 he tried to push it out like it's nothing, man, all right? He tried to push it out like it's just... Um, like it's a damn game or something, you know, like it's just a key, like it's just a little, um, a credit card or some shit, all right, but don't fall for that shit, man, you know, that's the, um, the damn mark of the beast, man, all right, I'm gonna bring this out, this is, um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31, it says, Emmy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. All right, that's why you don't post the envy your oppressor, man. All right, here it is. This devil, he try to um push it out like it's um like it's just something fun. All right, like it's just something normal to do. All right, that's how he gonna push it out like it's just normal. All right, but it says envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Right, because when you falling up behind this devil, all right, most likely you'll be doing the same shit, man. You'll be getting the damn um mark of the beast, man. All right. By envying him, man. All right, everybody at work um, choose to get the chip. All right, and here it come your your um nigga ass right behind him, man. All right, you know, and and, and get implanted with the um with the mark of the beast, man. All right, for falling up behind him, man. It says choose none of his ways, you know, choose none of his damn ways, man. All right. You know? And they're going to start, you know, it's going to start pushing this shit in schools, you know? You know they're going to start pushing this shit in schools, your kids, shit like that, man. All right? Choose none of his ways, man. All right? Because him being the devil, you know, he's going to try to put it out there. All right? Like it's just normal, you know? But don't do shit this devil do, man. All right? I'm going to bring this out in Revelation. This is, um, yeah, this is Revelation chapter 13 and 16. Yeah, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. It says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right? So they're basically saying, um, hey, it ain't going to matter who you are, man. All right? Rich or poor, small or great, you know, you gonna um, they're going to push it to, um, to make you receive that um, mark of the beast, man. All right? Most of these celebrities, you know, they already sold out, man. They already walking around with that shit. You know, all these um famous rappers that you listening to, all right, they walking around with the um damn mark of the beast, man. They gonna get destroyed, all right. Yep, and you know why? Um, bring let me jump down to seventeen. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark in the name of the beast, or the number of his name, all right. Um, buy or sell, man. It's going to come to the point you ain't going to be able to um, buy or sell without this chip, man. All right? No, man. You know? They're going to make it to the point um, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell, all right, without receiving this um chip. And you know what everybody going to do? All right? When they ain't, um, they ain't fucking eight in weeks, all right? You know? They ain't got the faith in them. They gonna take the chip, all right. And, and some, um, some of you, hey, man, that sinner knowing, gonna be taking the chip, man. 
Alright. You know? Um, hey, and that's furthermore proving how they gonna be um that's why they pushing in these jobs too, man. You know, you ain't even gonna be able to work, alright? Without um having a chip, you know? Hey, and, and, and that's what it's gonna come come down to, man. Alright. But hey, you gotta have the faith in the Lord, man. Alright, what the scripture says, my men should eat, alright, and they should hunger. You know, you gotta keep that in mind. Alright. Cause hey, that's that's what they gonna use it for when it's famine, alright, and um yeah, ain't eight weeks or in days, whatever the case might be, you know, they gonna um hey take this chip, alright? And you'll be able to eat. Or take this chip and you'll be able to, um to work, alright, to um to buy food, you know? Alright? The true men of the Lord ain't gonna take that shit, man. Alright? The, the, hey, the true men of the Lord are going to have faith, all right, in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right, you know, and they're going to receive that um, mark of the beast, man, you know. I, yeah, that was it on that, man, you know, but, um, hey, this devil, all right, he's trying to spread his wickedness, man, all right. And he's trying to do it right in front of your damn face, all right? But, hey, we're not ignorant, all right? We know what's going on, you know? You devil, all right? You know? You're not slick, man, all right? And every chance we get, you know, we're going um, to expose this damn devil, all right? So don't take that damn chip, all right? Which is the RFID chip, all right? It's not no damn philosophy. It's not no damn doctrine, whatever they pushing out, all right? You know, and with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asim Yahweh Shah, Ba'asim Rakakwadash, Shalom.